we have the cool opportunity to interview Eric Butler of Split Second, who many of you probably already know, but let me tell you, I'm just reading his cool bio. So, okay, he played for UBC Thunderbirds, 92 to 97. He graduated the All-Canadian All-Conference All-Star, <laughs> and he played professional basketball from 1997 to 2005 in France, Austria, and Germany. And since 2010, which is pretty much when Cooper started, I think, um, Eric Butler has started Split Second and took Cooper, my son, under his wing and um, has created this amazing basketball phenomenon. And he's going to tell us about it. So firstly, Eric, welcome. And also, what did you think when you heard that everything had to be shut down and you could no longer coach basketball the normal way? Yeah. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks for having me, uh, guys. And uh, thanks for letting me coach Cooper, too. I still think of him with his uh, shoulder length hair down, uh, <laughs> spurting around the gym as a, a six year old. But um, uh, no, I think we were kind of prepared for it because you sort of saw enough of the news coming that, you know, I think between mid February and, and mid March, when we were actually were shut down, uh, we had a fair amount of time to prepare for it, seeing, especially in the basketball world, seeing things like the NBA canceling their season and NCAA and, you know, you know those players are a huge deal when you start taking away people's you know senior year and all that stuff so it wasn't a huge surprise to us that we'd have to cancel a few of our programs but um you know i think we were also grateful for the timing of it because it had happened to coincide with uh, uh most schools <coughs> and uh, uh it just meant that we were able to finish up all of our terms and uh you know for the school basketball side of things people were able to finish up their season so i think it, it, you know we were grateful for that um, and I think our initial reaction really was just how do we, one, protect our staff because we've got uh, uh, six full-time staff at Split Second who are, you know, coaching every day. How do we keep their jobs and, and, and make sure that they're um, able to continue obviously paying their bills, but also coaching kids. And then also how do we stay connected with uh, um, the kids and, uh, you know, sort of what, and what are the silver linings? And that's kind of what we've been moving and concentrating on since then. So how so tell us how you've changed the program because i've seen kids doing like these individual workouts and cooper's doing workouts how how's it working yeah well i guess and that's kind of what i mean by that the silver lining of that uh I think that there's a couple things that uh, we feel like on a regular daily basis we don't get to do at, at, at split second that what we think is important for players and and one of it is a, it's a message that we have constantly given kids and, and, and you know and I know Cooper's heard it from us many times is that um, we are here to uh, teach and coach and uh, you know uh, we we have lots of time with the kids but we never have enough and so that they really need to, to be the best players they can be they need to learn how to work out on their own and so I think the big biggest silver lining of this is um, for years we've, we've been trying to find ways to support kids to work out on their own um, but uh, this has given us a chance to sort of put everything else on hold and to be able to uh, to be able to do that so for about I've been working with some software now that allows us to sort of connect remotely with kids and this is going back eight years so we have a lot of experience with it but it's never been the biggest priority at, at split second so we've been busy growing in other areas kind of on the back burner so you if our full-time coach at the mall all um uh full-time but be basically it's us creating a lot of app um, a lot of workouts um for the kids and so we have to create drills we have to create videos and then um, um uh sorry it says my internet's unstable i hope you guys can still hear me um but uh and we um, yeah, so we put them together in this software so the kids on the, get an app, have uh, an app on their phone and they can uh, basically we schedule their um, workouts through this app so that they will open it up and be able to see, okay, I've got this drill right now, I've got this drill, and then be able to check it off. We can monitor their progress. And we have about 300 kids using that currently. Um, and wow. they're kids who wouldn't be working out on their own in that way otherwise. So that's the real silver lining for us. So in terms of engagement, 300 kids have signed up, they've got the apps, they're working out on their own. Do they reach out to you for additional support? How, how does that work out? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. The app itself allows messaging inside of the app so that they basically get their workout out. And if they want, they can just sort of message us from that. And some do. Um, then uh, certainly um, like that, you know, that, 
the idea of this program more than anything is that they're working out on their own so that it's a schedule then it's Tuesday here's what I need to do here's my list of exercises and then uh, as soon as they mark it complete we can tell on our end uh, that they're doing it um, with uh, you know the, um, we have another program as well where we've got about I would say a similar number and, and a lot of them are the same kids but uh, we've got about 250 who play on our school team or on our, our club team sorry that uh, are also doing these zoom workouts I know I've seen Cooper uh, he, he's doing that with us and uh, yeah we've got a lot of kids who are doing it so we have about seven a week and they're all kids who like I said they played club basketball with us over the years and that's a bit more interactive because that's on a zoom call we can see each other and it's a great sense of accountability because we can see them you know if they're uh, you know, told to do 30 seconds of push-ups, we can see if they're actually doing it. I know my daughter tries to hide sometimes when the push-up part is <laughs> done, but you know, we'll do a lot of different ball handling drills. And that's more of what you're talking about, that sort of accountability and that back and forth interaction where we can talk to them and stuff. I had a question with respect to um, rolling out your plan B online. You'd said that you, as a business directive, you thought in the past, oh, I'd like to enhance our program with this. This forced your hand to the fire to make it happen. Did it happen a lot quicker than you anticipated? You know what? I'm so lucky. I've got uh, the, those the full-time guys I'm telling you about. They're all like uh, really willing and able to adjust. So as soon as we said, okay, we, uh, we don't have, we, we actually had camp on Monday. I think it was March 16th. Tuesday the 17th uh, it was it was over uh, they adjusted right away and said okay what do I need to do and so we got on filming we got on uh, programming the computer you know programming all these uh, drills into the system and so we were able to get it up and going really quickly but like I said it had been because we had some several years and uh, of, of practice using the system so it wasn't like we were trying to develop something from right. scratch but it did happen pretty quickly do you think um, some of these things will continue on like once we're all back together some of these you could have out of province kids using your app or do you think you'll develop it into something bigger? Yeah, I, I, that's a great question and a, a lot of unknowns. I certainly would like to think we would. I, I'm sure we're, as a team, we've, we've put several hundred hours in already at this stage. And um, obviously, it's great just to support the kids right now who, who, who need it now. But it would be nice to think of it being long term and all that stuff. We're developing, uh, you know, that content. I was out till six o'clock last night shooting more content. It's all going to be there in, 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 you know, in five years as well. So I'd like to think it would be. Um, you know, for us, obviously, if this goes on for a really long time, we'd, uh, you know, we'll have to look at different ways to monetize it right now. Everything we're doing is, 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 uh, is free because our biggest priority is just, you know, making sure the kids have something and we want to make it accessible to everybody. But we do think if, if long term it continues to, um, you know, when people go back to regular life, if they still have their time to do uh, this kind of work, everything, I think it would be great to be able to continue it on for sure. So let's see what you have on, on. You can show us. Sure. Yeah, I'll uh, do a screen share here um, and see if that pops up. So this is our. Are you seeing our home page here? Not yet. <laughs> uh, okay. You don't see it either, Page. No. It okay. says split, uh, has started screen sharing. I think it's just uh, going to take a bit until it comes up. Yeah. I don't think I have to give you permission for that. Uh, actually, sharing is paused. Bring your window. Oh, uh, bring your sharing. Okay. I wonder if it's because it's recording. That's weird. I've never seen that one before. It's paused. I'm going. To, I'm going to try and stop it and start it again. See if that helps. Uh, oh, there we go. You got it now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is a, this is our uh, homepage here. Just uh, talking a bit about uh, COVID delays and stuff in our programs. And then uh, right below is our online training. So we, we have two main things, our online workouts and our online courses. Um, our online courses we are, will be completing next week, and that's meant for some younger players, sort of grades four through seven that are getting their first introduction. People have signed up for a program uh, um, uh, with us, a skills training program that we can no longer go and be in the gym with them. We're now going to deliver that same format uh, through um, through an online course um, where they'll, one week they'll be doing shooting, one week they'll be doing dribbling, and another week passing. So, the, um, but that'll be coming next week. The, what it does exist right now is online training. It's free for anybody um, uh, to sign up for. And uh, slow internet here when it loads um yeah basically if you come down on this online workouts page 
Um, there's a little video here explaining it. Um, lots of lots of questions uh, that are answered. That uh, um, you know who the workouts are for. Uh, does it cost anything? No, it's free. Can I train with a hoop at, at my house? Lots of people don't have a hoop right now. So we've got uh, three different programs each day. One is um, uh, for a rainy day, you gotta be in the living room. Uh, what can you do to get a workout? So uh, there's that option. There's one without a hoop. Lots of people don't have access to a hoop now, especially uh, since our parks have taken them all down. And then uh, one if you have a hoop in your driveway. Um, and then a little bit of extra information about why it's important. And then to get started, people just sign up here and it will take them to a Google form where they can, uh, um, yeah, where they can sign up and they'll be sent an account and uh, download information for the app. So that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of the program. That's amazing that you yeah. can do it all without a hoop and without any other players. Would it's you a pass? challenge. It's a challenge for sure for the coaches because uh, it's it's certainly not the same as yeah when you have a partner and a pa and and a hoop. Uh, but we're able to do it, and I think um, you know all those Zoom workouts I've told you about where we've got you know at a time we have up to fifty kids all with the coach on a Zoom that none of them are with a hoop and and they're there for you know 45, 50 minutes. So uh, it's it, it is kind of a cool sport that way that you can probably get more out of it than a lot of sports without just a little little piece of uh, gr clear ground and a ball. That's awesome. So you, you talked about the silver linings for your athletes. What, what's the silver lining you think for you and your family? Um, you mean, as opposed to the company, they are actually asked as individuals. Yeah. Um, I think for sure, just getting uh, some time together. I think, uh, you know, my, I've got now a um, 17, 15 and 13 year old and just amazed at uh, just the whirlwind that it is to uh, get to this stage and then in daily life. I think we're uh, kind of at one of those busiest stages in our life, just uh, uh, still running with kids to so many different sports and, uh, uh, you know, extracurricular activities in school and just to have that little break that we rarely have. I think when, when we do get that chance as a family to have a little bit of downtime, we're usually off traveling somewhere, which, which is great, but uh, it, it just means that we don't have some of these moments that we've had over the last month. And um, I'm sure one day we'll look back at it really fondly. I think uh, uh, obviously a really tough time for many people, but uh, I think there's definitely lots of silver linings in the time we've had together. Amazing. Thank you so much, Eric. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So we'll put right. out your, your information on and um, let people know how they can sign up. Yeah, anybody who wants, just come to just come to the website, uh, go, go through these links here, uh, sign up and uh, at least get it on your phone. And uh, if you if you use it and become a better basketball player, we'll make us very happy. So uh, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Good luck. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah.